DW correspondent Phoebe Kong is in the city. She caught up with Joshua Wong for his take on these protests. Um, yeah, uh, the question is, are you confident that the, the, the people power of Hong Kong can finally defeat Beijing's grip in this movement? I have no hope towards the regime, but I have hope towards people. I believe when more than millions of Hong Kong people, or even one third of the citizen in my hometown, join this fight, the government can't ignore it. We are waiting for the miracle and turning something impossible to be possible. Hmm. And um, how, how do you find it? What do you think as activists and the protesters, what, what should they do in the next, for the next step to, to pressure the government? Action. Demonstration rarely is the way out. We continue to put pressure on the disappeared leader of Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And um, during when, when you're in the prison, uh, I, I know you watch the news, right, to know million people talk on the streets. So what is your feeling? How do you feel about it? Can you share about it? When I watch DW News inside prison, I recognize how international communities keep their eyes in Hong Kong. It's really impressed. And also show that how the spirit of Hong Kong people let the world to know that we will not keep silence under the hardline rule of President Xi Jinping. Um, Carrie Lam said she actually apologized to the public last night. And do you think this is enough? And what, what, what are you like calling for? If, if she doesn't step down, then what would you do? If Carrie Lam apologize, it's useless because damage has done by how she endorsed police hold against tourist activists. Now is the time for Carrie Lam step down, bear the political responsibility, withdraw any plan to prosecute activists, leader, and that's what we ask for. And do you feel regret that you, you actually missed two of the biggest rally in Hong Kong? Uh, not only regret on missing the two significant demonstrations, uh, serving jail sentence, is the burden that I need to face, but I successfully overcome it. Joshua Wong there, interviewed by DW correspondent Phoebe Kong. Now, he, along with other protesters, are also demanding that Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam step down. She heads a government that protesters see as pro-Beijing. Since demonstrations began on Hong Kong streets, the government has gone from unrelenting to combative to concessionary and finally to apologetic. Here is a selection of how Carrie Lam has changed her tone in the space of seven days. Uh, there is very little merit to be gained to delay the bill. It will just cause more anxiety and divisiveness in society. I, I have not received any instruction or mandate from Beijing. Any violence will not be tolerated by our enforcement authorities. After repeated internal deliberations over the last two days, I now announce that the government has decided to suspend the legislative amendment exercise. But I have to admit that our explanation and communication work has not been sufficient or effective. We will adopt the most sincere and humble attitude to accept criticisms and make improvements. A promise to make improvements, but is it too little? Too late. DW reporter Hang Chuen Lee, herself from Hong Kong, has been monitoring protests for the past week. Hang Chuen, welcome. How does one interpret what Carrie Lam has said? It's been quite a turnaround within a space of seven days. Yes, it is. But um, Carrie Lam just had to soften her tone because of her persistence to push through the law. Um, there had been three different big protests. And... Um, on, on the first protest, one million people came out and then she didn't apologize. And then there was violent clash on the second protest and then she d still didn't apologize. And that's why it led to the big protest yesterday. So she just has to soften her tone. Now, some people are um, asking the question whether this is just um, buying time. A lot of demonstrators say the, um, that Beijing is just buying time, that it will push through it because the bill has just been suspended and not uh, it has not been withdrawn. Um, 
However, uh, some government officials also say that the bill is uh, literally dead because any amendments or cons new consultation works will have to be done before July next year, before uh, the term of the Legislative Council, uh, right. council ends. So um, that's why some governments also say that the bill is literally dead. So if the bill is literally dead, what does that mean for Carrie Lam's tenure? Is her tenure also effectively over? Well, Beijing has actually announced uh, official support for her. Um, and some senior government officials also said that even if Carrie Lam wants to step down, Beijing will not let her step down. I guess for Beijing, um, it's just too much a risk. If there is a change in leadership right now, uh, it will cause even more instability to Hong Kong. I, I think this is... Um, what Beijing wants to avoid right now. Um, right. However, this is considered to be a defeat for Carrie Lam. So uh, some people, some experts say that it is very unlikely that she will be able to serve uh, a second term. This entire issue is not over from the sound of it. Hang Chuan Li, thank you very much for coming into the studio and breaking that down for us.